Welcome to another edition of Dynatrace's Partner Cafe. I'm Rob Jan, a partner solution advocate here at Dynatrace. In today's episode, we're going to be going over our integration with AWS. Let's start with a quick overview of our partnership. Dynatrace is an advanced technology partner, service ready partner, and competency partner for DevOps, migration, and containers. Dynatrace is transactable through AWS Marketplace with pricing and terms that fit your technical business needs. Let's take a minute now to review our solution. The Dynatrace One Agent covers all the major AWS compute resources from EC2 to Lambda, Kubernetes, and many more. Full stack means that a single agent collects performance metrics for all types of entities in your application environment, servers, applications, databases, and across each layer of your technology stack, including containers. Furthermore, all the timings and code level context for application transactions end to end are supported from cloud to mainframe using our patented PurePath technology. Dynatrace also supports comprehensive monitoring for AWS resources that publish to AWS CloudWatch. That means they can be controlled by account and service, and analyzed by our AWS Monitor out-of-the-box dashboards and automatically baseline and fed into our Dynatrace AI engine. But know that Dynatrace can also integrate into a number of other areas of AWS, from helping automate the rollout of the one agent, further analysis of metrics and behavior, run the Dynatrace platform on AWS, and support of hybrid clouds and data transfer management. What is exciting is that Dynatrace is releasing to production every two weeks, so we have a long list of roadmap items that include improvements to our alerting, dashboard, metrics, and more. Let's shift over to take a look at our AWS monitoring integration. Here we're looking at a view that shows how we've automatically brought in CloudWatch metrics for the different services we've configured and visualizing it within a view within Dynatrace. Here we can see our dynamic environments where we're running several hundred EC2 instances. If we drill into one of these zones, now we can get a breakdown of the individual instances that are running here and we can see their instant type. What's great about this is this information from CloudWatch is put into Dynatrace's entity model. So if we were to take a look at this, we're seeing all the tags that may be associated with this particular host. We can see information about its availability zone, its instance type, etc. And we can see all the time series type data that's available as it came over from CloudWatch. Let's go back to our view and maybe we can see the same thing is true for other services such as Lambda. Here we can see our individual Lambda functions and we can come down and see again all the time series data that's automatically brought into the Dynatrace entity model. Now that you've seen how some of the data comes in as well as the entity model, what does Dynatrace do with this information? What we're looking at here is a problem card, and this is an aggregated view of some situation that's happened in the environment that was derived from the metrics and logs gathered from the one agent or fed in from CloudWatch metrics to feed into some sort of impact to a user or a service. What's special about this is we can see not a single event, but a, a problem window. In this case, this one was closed, but it was open for 27 minutes. And at a quick glance, we can see that multiple applications are affected as well as services and infrastructure items. We know the names of the applications because we know where the transactions are coming from. We also see automatically from the topology mapping, visual resolution path of the problem. Here we'll show a, a feature that's taking place where it's snapshotting the individual problem as it was taking place. What we're looking at is a combination of different events, as well as anomaly changes to time series data that, that the AI engine detected and analyzed. And so what we can see as the problem went on, different events were continuing to occur, and the AI engine was saying, hey, there's a problem here and established who's impacted as a result. What would have happened in a traditional monitoring tool is a whole bunch of alerts for each layer from the end user impact to maybe a service availability problem to a database problem. And people would have spent a long time figuring out who caused the problem, trying to correlate all this information together. And that's the power of Dynatrace. It did that all automatically through the AI engine. So not only did it tell you who was impacted, where it was happening, but it also told you the root cause. That concludes our demo and our overview. So hopefully you'll now see why we believe we are better together with AWS with all of our great out of the box integrations and our partnership. A great way to get started is to head over to Dynatrace.com, click on our chat and speak to one of our very knowledgeable team members. And thank you for watching another episode of Partner Cafe. If you've liked what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me at The Real Rob Jan.